Behold, air conditioning. But where did it come from? Meet Willis Carrier, born in 1876 in Angola, New York. Willis grew up on a family farm in western New York. He picked up a fascination with math and engineering from his parents. After graduating from Cornell in 1901, Willis began working for the Buffalo Forge Company as a heating engineer. One job in particular caught his attention. He needed to improve the air inside a Brooklyn printing press, where fluctuations in the heat caused the ink to bleed and run, botching the prints. When Willis researched the situation, he realized that the shifting heat and humidity caused the problem. He would need to create a device capable of controlling both the heat and humidity of an indoor environment. His solution? The air conditioner. By 1902, Willis had designed a mechanical air controller. Here's how it works. Air passes through a filter and over coils containing a coolant. This same basic principle is in use throughout the world today. Willis saw the device's potential soon after its first run, and he was not alone. Other customers requested similar designs and Willis continued tweaking his invention, eventually founding the Carrier Engineering Corporation in 1915. After World War II, a construction boom drove many homeowners to install private air conditioners. With this breakthrough in interior environments, architects were able to build larger structures, such as skyscrapers, and migration to the south exploded. More people were active during the typically sweltering summer months, and it was all thanks to Willis Carrier, whose company carries on today.